So we now open the floor for questions, of course, from our journalist present here today, consultant director, News First, Niresh Aliyah Thambi. Floor is all yours. Thank you, Shalin. Uh, Hijaz, uh, I'd like to ask you now, each time we have a serious concern or society has concerns about a law which is coming up, a bill, uh, when we discuss around this round table, um, the consensus is that there isn't enough consultation um, this but this goes on we've seen it happen time and time again and government is not fixing it uh, the Ministry of Justice is not fixing this process that's very clear uh, what can be done to fix the the entire process should the bar association do something how is this going to be done otherwise we'll be doing the same thing ten years from now uh, I think Niresh, uh, the anti-terrorism bill gives us some insight as to what we can do. And I think one is uh, the role played by the media. Uh, so if you look at the original bill, it came, uh, I think, towards the, uh, towards uh, nearing a court occasion, uh, uh, coming towards, uh, yeah, on the 22nd of March, 2022-23, uh, so towards the end of March, going towards court vacation, going towards the New Year holidays, uh, the bill the bill was published, and uh, there was a lot of talk that it'll 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 be rammed through uh, Parliament and uh, that uh, bill will be passed uh, uh, somehow. But there was widespread uh, protest, and uh, not in the terms of protest in the sense of people protesting on the road, in the sense that people are talking about it. So there was widespread discussion on the part of the part of the general public, and in the media. So that's a, that's a very positive development. And also, of course, the institutions such as the bar associations wrote about it. For the future, I think I I, I uh, frankly uh, have no sort of clear idea as to what needs to be done. But I think uh, it has to be on a case by case basis. And I think the government needs to be committed towards uh, its legislative program and also in achieving consensus uh, in, in, in its legislative program. And uh, so we have experiences in, in other countries such as they publish white papers. The white paper is widely discussed. It's, uh, it's taken, the, 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 the issue is brought down to the grassroots. People talk about it. And then from there upwards you bring up those provisions and discuss those issues. Now that should have happened here, not just for this. But for anything, and also we have the law commission. What's the law commission's position on 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 the terror laws, right? What is the law? The, has the law commission discussed this? Has the law commission uh, brought out its own draft? So these are these are these. I mean, these are this is how you build consensus. But as you see in this bill, and also even in the previous example, uh, the rehabilitation bureau bill, and also what we have with the online safety bill. Who who knew about any of these bills until they were gazetted? So I think uh, democratic societies have framework for this kind of consultative processes. Uh, one is the law commission, one is publishing uh, these bills, uh, white papers and having discussions. None of that is happening. So if we are to do that, then certainly we, we, we are moving forward.